my top 6 new Zoom features that you'll use in 2023. My preferred one has to do with breakout rooms, but more about it later. Let's now start with feature number 6. The new meeting chat experience. First thing, let's make sure you're running the latest Zoom version. From the desktop client, go to your profile icon, help, and then about Zoom. I'm running an older version, so let's update it. Let's click again on the profile icon and then check for updates. At the time of recording in February 2023, Zoom is at version 5.13.7. Let's download it and install it. When done, let's create a new meeting. I'm hosting the meeting from a MacBook Pro and I'm connecting as a guest from a Windows PC. All the features that I'll show you in this video are applicable to both Mac OS and Windows. To make sure that the new meeting chat experience is active, you'll have to go to your web client, from the navigation menu click on settings, and here go to in meeting basic settings. Make sure that the new meeting chat experience is active. Here you have the option to turn on three additional features. Allow participants to delete messages in meeting chat, enable the screenshot feature in meeting chat, and allow participants to react to meeting chat messages with emojis. And I'll turn them all on. Now that I'm happy with all the settings, let's try the new meeting chat. Back to our meeting, let's open the chat and let's type a message. Something like, hello, how are you? Have you seen the new chat features? Now at the top you see many new options for formatting the text. You can make it bold, change the background color, change the color of the text itself, clear the formatting, make it underlined, strike through, you can increase or decrease the font size, and you can also insert a link, like the one to my course on OBS Studio to elevate your Zoom presentations, which you can go and check it out, link in the description. You can also choose between different heading styles, create bullet or numbered list, increase or decrease indent, or quote. Another very nice feature is the possibility of taking a screenshot. To say you want to show some information that is on your screen or give instructions on how to do something. You can take a snapshot of the screen or part of it and then share it directly in the chat. Now you can also create threaded discussions by replying to a specific chat message and all replies to a message can be expanded or collapsed, which makes long chat discussions with many participants much more easy to read. And the last feature is that you can now also add emojis. Feature number five. Custom human avatars and camera of avatars. You'll find avatars in your desktop client settings. Click on the cogwheel and then in the navigation menu go to background and effects. Animal avatars are there since some time, but now you can also create your human avatar. Okay, let's create my human avatar. You can choose skin color, face shape, hair, hair color, eyes, eyelashes, eyebrows, nose, mouth, facial hair, clothing, and glasses, which I need. I don't know, does it look like me? Now the avatar will follow your movement. In the meeting, click on your video options, select show avatar, and now the nice thing is that the avatar shows even if your video is turned off. So say you have a bad cold and you don't want to show your face. You can turn off video but turn on the avatar. So instead of having a fixed image, you show your avatar following your movements. Feature number 4. Meeting countdown timer. Make sure that the option Show Meeting Timers is enabled in your desktop client general settings. For spontaneous instant meetings, the timer will show the meeting duration, but now for scheduled meetings, you'll also have the options to see the remaining time. So say you've scheduled a 45 minutes meeting, the time remaining feature will help you realize that the meeting is about to end, and it's time to wrap up. Feature number 3. Broadcast mic audio to all breakout rooms. This one has to do with breakout rooms, but it's still not my preferred one. I've now given host rights to the participants on the Windows PC, so he can create breakout rooms and ask me, the macOS participant, to join it. So let's join breakout room one, and now Zoom is prompting me that the activity status is being shared with the host. We'll see in a second what that means. And now as a host from my Windows PC, I'm broadcasting my voice to all breakout rooms. Now I'm now speaking, speaking as a host in the, in the other room. You're hearing a echo because the 
sound is feeding back into, into this microphone. microphone. That's very useful if you have to make an announcement or share some instructions that maybe were not clear when you explain them in plenary or warn all participants that the activity is about to end. So what does it mean that the activity status is being shared with the host? As a host, I can see the engagement of a participant in the breakout room. I can see if they are sharing screen, whether they're muted or whether they have their camera on or not. So I won't be able to see or hear any content, but at least I have a sense for their engagement. Feature number two, create and edit polls during a meeting. If you're finding this video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so I can keep producing good content for you. Thank you. To make sure polls are enabled, go to your web client settings and then in Meeting Basic. Here toggle the Meeting Polls quizzes. And now you see that host can add polls before, like it was already available, or during a meeting. You can choose whether the host can create advanced polls and quizzes. I'm not covering the difference between normal and advanced polls here, but if you want me to create a new video, just let me know in the comments. And you can choose whether an alternative host can add or edit polls and quizzes or require answers to be anonymous. Now back to the meeting and let's click on polls quizzes. I want to create an advanced poll, so let's select this option and click on next. Let's create an advanced poll with a couple of random questions. You cannot participate in a poll as a host. So let me join the meeting also with my phone. I launched the poll and now both participants have answered. And my preferred new Zoom feature that I'm sure you'll use in 2023 is create breakout rooms based on poll results. Let's go back to the web client settings where we left it before. On purpose, I didn't talk about one option in the meeting polls quizzes, and that is allow host to create breakout rooms from poll results. So let's make sure this is active and click on save. Now back to the meeting and let's create a new advanced poll. For each question, you have three options. Make it required, show as a dropdown, but most of all, create breakout rooms. Duplicate this question and create a third one. I launched the poll and now one participant has opted for choice one in question one, two and three and the other participant has chosen the other option. Now at the bottom of question one and two, you see the option to create breakout rooms. That means that breakout rooms will be created automatically based on the answer that each participant has given to the poll. Participants will be split and they will only have to click on join breakout room to be placed in the right one. That has a number of very interesting potential applications. Like you can do a knowledge assessment and then split participants into two breakout rooms. For example, one for beginners and one for advanced. Or you can ask participants, do you want to discuss topic one or topic two? And then based on the answer, automatically assign them to the appropriate discussion room. What are your preferred new Zoom features? How you're using them? And maybe have I missed something? Just let me know in the comments below. There's actually one huge feature that is very recent that I've not covered here. And that's because it deserves a whole video for itself. It's the new Zoom Whiteboard, a tool that Zoom keeps updating almost at every release. It's now become a state-of-the-art whiteboard, comparable to Microsoft One. And if you want to master it, just check this next video.